Jammu and Kashmir CM Omar Abdullah has commented on the future of India bloc. In fact, the leader doubts whether the alliance can sustain itself as the opposition anymore, pointing towards the alliance fizzling in many parts of the nation. And the former Jammu and Kashmir chief minister said, and I quote, I don't know already, you have the Aam Aadmi Party saying that this alliance was about parliament polls. We haven't taken a view about the Delhi polls yet. There was no seat sharing in West Bengal. So how much will this translate into forthcoming assembly elections? I have no idea. So politically speaking, of course, how that's being read remains to be seen. All right, so that is, of course, essentially the big remark that has come in. Remember, this could potentially raise eyebrows as well, um, given the fact that what Omar Abdullah has stated over here, he has expressed doubts. Sahil, my colleague, joins me for more. Sahil, very good morning. Clearly, with the fact that how Omar Abdullah views this, how do you think it's going to be looked at? Uh, but in, um, uh, in fact, uh, former JNK Chief Minister and National Conference Vice President Omar Abdullah has made these remarks while, uh, in fact, uh, 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 talking to a uh, news agency, saying that uh, he doesn't see uh, this, uh, uh, in fact, uh, India bloc uh, remaining, remaining as we saw it, in fact, on 4th of uh, uh, June. Uh, so... Uh, uh, very clearly saying uh, that the uh, in fact pointing out the differences between the uh, India part uh, alliance partners uh, be it the West Bengal where in fact Mamta Banerjee uh, didn't uh, went for any uh, Lok Sabha seat sharing with Congress and other politi political parties which are part of India alliance uh, be it uh, in fact the Ahmadmi party in Punjab and elsewhere so uh, Omar Abdullah is of the opinion that this uh, India alliance bloc may not remain as its story and differences because uh, what we are witnessing in the country in coming months is uh, is the uh, looks uh, is the assembly elections uh, that are scheduled for Maharashtra and other states. Where in, uh, we are in fact expecting that there will be a direct fight between Congress and other uh, political parties, which are at the moment part of India alliance. So this uh, statement is in that context. Omar Abdullah suggested that uh, India uh, alliance parties may in fact face each other uh, in electoral politics and that's going to impact the uh, India alliance uh, at national level as well. Uh, Ahmadi Party in Delhi has already said that they are going there. The, the alliance was for the Lok Sabha polls and not for assembly elections. Similarly, as I mentioned, the, the uh, Maharashtra politics is panning out. Back in Jammu and Kashmir, uh, assembly elections are also scheduled. Supreme Court has told Election Commission of India that uh, uh, they be, in fact, uh, elections, assembly elections in Jammu and Kashmir be held before September. Here, National Conference had an alliance with uh, Congress right. during Lok, Lok Sabha elections, but that's not going to be case when it comes to assembly elections. Maybe National Conference will contest all on uh, assembly seats because there is already a resolution that was passed by the National Conference leaders in 2022, uh, in fact, suggesting and uh, making it very clear that they will contest on all 90 assembly seats in Jammu and Kashmir. So it, it's the state in that context, the electoral politics and states when it comes to state assembly right. elections and India alliance partners will face each other. Right, Sahil, thank you very much for not only really telling us what he said, but more importantly, drawing things into perspective as to how this could potentially be read. Let's leave it at that for the moment.